Naming binary ionic compounds is actually one of the more easy naming tasks. The key is to knowing when you have a binary ionic compound. And to do that, we're going to look at the periodic table and find both of the elements. So let's try CaCl2. So on the periodic table, we find Ca, and then we find Cl. We can see that Ca is a metal and Cl is a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's going to be an ionic compound. And since we only have two different types of elements, Ca and then the Cl, it's going to be a binary ionic compound. To name binary ionic compounds, we'll take the name of the metal, Ca, and we'll write it just like we find it on the periodic table, calcium. Next, we find the name for Cl, which is chlorine, but we get rid of the I-N-E ending, and then we add I-D-E. So for CaCl2, we end up with calcium chloride. Let's try another one. So we look up Al on the periodic table, aluminum, it's a metal, and then N, nitrogen, that's a nonmetal. So it's a binary ionic compound. And then we'll write the name for aluminum, just like we find it on the periodic table. Next, we write the name for nitrogen, but we get rid of the ending here, and then we add I-D-E. So we end up with aluminum nitride. Let's do one more. So for AlCl3, we look up Al. We actually already know that's aluminum. Then we write the name for Cl, but we get rid of that I-N-E and write I-D-E, and we end up with aluminum chloride. So to name these binary ionic compounds, we're writing the metal as it is on the periodic table, and then for the nonmetal, we write it out, but we change the ending to IDE. So pause for a moment and try these. For Na2O, that's sodium oxide. Al2O3 is aluminum oxide. One thing to note, though, is if you have transition metals, those metals in the center of the periodic table, you do need to add another step, but that's the subject of another video. To get good at this, you need to practice, and you can find that practice on my chemistry website using the link below. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.